Now in this video we're checking the alternator, not the charging system. We're going to check the signal input wire that turns the alternator on and off. So I'm James Noble. Let's get started. Now first we're going to hook our voltmeter up. Set it on a 20 volt scale. And we're going to start the engine. We need to make sure we've got a drive belt on there. Check our RPMs, make sure we're above 500. What we're looking for here, we started out with around 12.5 volts. We want at least 13, two, up to 15 volts in order to charge our battery. Clearly we're not, we're not doing what we need. So now we're gonna move over to the post on the alternator. We're gonna pull our boot off and we want to check while we still got it hooked up we're going to go with our hot we're going to go to the back of the alternator and we won't be on the post we've got the same amount of voltage close so we know that the alternator is not producing any voltage now while that's still hooked up we're going to take our ground and we're going to go to the housing on the alternator So this in fact tells us that the alternator is not producing any voltage. Next we're going to go to the signal input. We're going to unplug it. On this model has a brown, just one brown input wire, which the vehicle will use it to turn the alternator on and off. We're going to back probe it and we're going to turn our switch on and let's see how much voltage we get there. We should be within a volt or two of battery voltage. That checks good. Our alternator's bad. We can feel confident in replacing our alternator. Now, I hope you got some value out of this. If you did, hit me with a like and subscribe. And if you got any comments, drop them down. If you'd like to see, I'm gonna make a video on a complete charging system and the wiring diagram. I'm James Noble. Thank you for watching.